Hello everyone. I am Zahid Abbas. In this video, we are going to learn about Cartesian coordinate system. Cartesian coordinate system. Cartesian coordinate system is a system which is used to describe the location of a point on a line, on a plane, or in a space region. Why Cartesian? Cartesian coordinates are called Cartesian because the idea was developed by the mathematician and philosopher Rene Descartes who was also known as Cartesius. Cartesian coordinate system in one dimension. To describe the location of a point on a line, first we take a point anywhere on that line and use it as a reference point. We assign a coordinate 0 to this point and name it as the origin. The line runs or originates from this point in two directions. This line is divided in unit lengths by marking points on it. In one direction, the coordinates of the points are taken positive and in the other direction, they are taken negative. The line we get in this way is called as a number line. In the figure, the central point O is used as a reference point for describing the location of any other point. This point is called as the origin. The point 5 is 5 units away from the origin on the line in the positive direction. The point negative 3 is 3 units away from the origin in the negative direction. To describe the location of a point in one dimension or on a line, we need only a single coordinate. Distance between two points on a line. To find the distance between two points on a line, we subtract the coordinates and find absolute value of the resultant number. For example, the distance between point 3 and 9 is absolute value of 9 minus 3 which is equal to 6 units or absolute value of 3 minus 9 which is also equal to 6 units. Similarly, distance between negative 4 and negative 8 is absolute value of negative 8 minus negative 4 which is equal to 4 units or absolute value of negative 4 minus negative 8 which is also equal to 4 units. The distance between two points can also be found in the same way if the points lie on the opposite sides of the line from the origin. For example, distance between the point 5 and negative 4 is absolute value of 5 minus negative 4 which is equal to 9 units 
or absolute value of negative 4 minus 5 which is also equal to 9 units. Cartesian coordinate system in two dimensions. To describe the location of a point in two dimensions or on a plane, we take two perpendicular or orthogonal lines called axes as reference. These axes are two number lines that intersect one another at a point at right angle. That is why they are called perpendicular axes or rectangular axes. One of the axes is taken in horizontal direction called horizontal axis or x axis. The other axis is taken in vertical direction called vertical axis or y axis. The point of intersection of both the axes is called as the origin. Both the axes originate from the origin and run in both the positive and negative directions to infinity on the plane. Such a plane is known as a Cartesian plane. The rectangular axes divide the Cartesian plane in four infinite regions called quadrants. The word quadrant comes from quad meaning 4. Starting from positive x axis and moving anti-clockwise, first we encounter with first quadrant, then second quadrant, then third quadrant and finally fourth quadrant. First quadrant. The infinite region bounded by positive x axis and positive y axis on the Cartesian plane is called as the first quadrant. If we take the angle in standard form, then first quadrant starts from 0 degree and ends at 90 degrees. Second quadrant. The infinite region bounded by negative x axis and positive y axis on the Cartesian plane is called as the second quadrant. If we take the angle in standard form, then second quadrant starts from 90 degrees and ends at 180 degrees. Third quadrant. The infinite region bounded by negative x axis and negative y axis on the Cartesian plane is called as the third quadrant. If we take the angle in standard form, then third quadrant starts from 180 degrees and ends at 270 degrees. Fourth quadrant. The infinite region bounded by positive x axis and negative y axis on the Cartesian plane is called as the fourth quadrant.
if we take the angle in standard form then fourth quadrant starts from 270 degrees and ends at 360 degrees location of a point on a plane to describe the location of a point on a plane first we determine its quadrant and then find its perpendicular distance from both the axes the perpendicular distance of the point from the vertical axis is called as the x coordinate of the point it is also called as the abscissa the perpendicular distance of the point from the horizontal axis is called as the y coordinate of the point it is also called as the ordinate the x coordinate and the y coordinate are collectively called as the rectangular coordinates or the cartesian coordinates the coordinates are written in the form of order pairs the order is important first number in parenthesis is the x coordinate and the second one is the y coordinate the rectangular coordinates of a point can be positive or negative depending upon the quadrant in which the point lies in first quadrant x coordinate is positive and y coordinate is also positive in second quadrant x coordinate is negative but y coordinate is positive in third quadrant x coordinate is negative and y coordinate is also negative in fourth quadrant x coordinate is positive but y coordinate is negative note that x coordinate are positive on the right hand side of the y axis and negative on the left hand side of the y axis similarly note that y coordinates are positive above the x axis and negative below the x axis let's try to learn how to define the coordinates of a point on the cartesian plane consider this point draw a perpendicular line from this point on the x axis it meets the x axis at 6 so x coordinate of this point is 6 now draw another perpendicular line from this point on y axis it meets the y axis at 5 so y coordinate of this point is 5 it means this point is 6 unit away from the y axis and is on the right hand side of the y axis 
this point is 5 units away from x axis and is above the x axis. Consider this point. Draw a perpendicular line from this point on the x axis. It meets the x axis at negative 7. So, x coordinate of this point is negative 7. Now draw another perpendicular line from this point on y axis. It meets the y axis at 6. So y coordinate of this point is 6. It means this point is 7 units away from the y axis and is on the left hand side of the y axis. This point is 6 units away from x axis and it is above the x axis. Consider this point. Draw a perpendicular line from this point on the x axis. It meets the x axis at negative 8. So x coordinate of this point is negative 8. Now draw another perpendicular line from this point on y axis. It meets the y axis at negative 4. So y coordinate of this point is negative 4. It means this point is 8 units away from the y axis and is on the left hand side of the y axis. This point is 4 units away from x axis and is below the x axis. Consider this point. Draw a perpendicular line from this point on the x axis. It meets the x axis at 3. So x coordinate of this point is 3. Now draw another perpendicular line from this point on y axis. It meets the y axis at negative 7. So y coordinate of this point is negative 7. It means this point is 3 units away from the y axis and is on the right hand side of the y axis. This point is 7 units away from x axis and is below the x axis. Distance between two points on a plane. The distance d between two points x1 y1 and x2 y2 on a plane can be found by using the distance formula. Distance formula. Distance d between two points x1 y1 and x2 y2 on a plane is mathematically defined as d is equal to whole square root of square of x2 minus x1 minus square of y2 minus y1. This formula is called as the distance formula. Example number 1. Distance d between two points 3, 2 and 9, 8 on a plane is 
d is equal to whole square root of square of 9 minus 3 minus square of 8 minus 2. After calculation, we get d is equal to 4.47 units. Example 2. Distance d between two points negative 8, 2 and 8, negative 4 on a plane is d is equal to whole square root of square of 8 minus negative 8 minus square of negative 4 minus 2. After calculation, we get d is equal to 14.8 units. Cartesian coordinate system in three dimensions. To describe the location of a point in three dimensions or in a space region, we take three axes. These axes are mutually perpendicular. These axes are called as x axis, y axis, and z axis. The common point where all the three axes meet is called as the origin. The positive and negative half axis seem to originate from this point. In two dimensions, we name x-axis as horizontal axis and y-axis as vertical axis. But in three dimensions, none of the coordinates is called horizontal or vertical coordinate. However, these coordinates are sometimes called as abscissa, ordinate and applicate respectively. Sometimes we take the three axes as x axis run out of and into the page, y axis right left, and z axis runs upward and downward as shown in figure. However, it is convenient just like in two dimensional coordinate system to take x axis right left along the page and y axis upward downward in three dimensional coordinate system also. The third axis z axis is taken out of and into the page as shown in figure. While giving names to axes, one rule is very helpful. It is the right hand rule. Stretch the first or index finger, middle finger and the thumb of the right hand such that they are mutually perpendicular. Now if the index finger is pointed towards positive x axis then middle finger points towards y axis and the thumb is pointed towards z axis. Each pair of axes define a coordinate hyperplane that is xy plane, yz plane and xz plane. The plane along the x-axis and the y-axis is xy hyperplane. The plane along the y-axis and the z-axis is yz hyperplane. And the plane along the x-axis and the z-axis 
is xz hyperplane. These planes have only a single common point that is the origin. These planes divide the space in eight three dimensional infinite regions. These regions are called as the octants. Order of octants. If we take x axis right left, y axis upward downward and z axis out of and into the page or screen as shown in figure then first second third and fourth octants lie in front of x y hyperplane in the same order as in the two dimensional coordinate system that is starting from positive x axis and moving counter clockwise first we encounter with first octant then second then third and finally fourth octant fifth sixth seventh and eighth octants lie on back of xy hyperplane in the same order as the front octants that is fifth behind first sixth behind second seventh behind third and eighth behind fourth octant But as said earlier, we can take x axis out of and into the page or screen, y axis right left along the page, and z axis upward downward also as shown in the figure. In this case, first, second, third, and fourth octants lie above xy hyperplane and in counterclockwise order starting from positive x axis if we look from top fifth sixth seventh and eighth octants lie below the xy hyperplane and in the same order as the first four octants sign convention In the first octant, x coordinate is positive, y coordinate is positive, and z coordinate is also positive. In the second octant, x coordinate is negative, y coordinate is positive, and z coordinate is also positive. In the third octant, x coordinate is negative, y coordinate is negative, and z coordinate is positive in the fourth octant x coordinate is positive y coordinate is negative and z coordinate is positive in the fifth octant x coordinate is positive y coordinate is positive but z coordinate is negative in the sixth octant x coordinate is negative y coordinate is positive and z coordinate is negative in the seventh octant x coordinate is negative y coordinate is negative and z coordinate is also negative in the eighth octant x coordinate is positive y coordinate is negative 
and z coordinate is negative how to remember in the first column of x coordinate the first sign is positive the next two signs are negative the next two are positive the next two are negative and the last one is positive in the second column of y coordinates first two signs are positive next two are negative next two are positive and next two are negative in the third and last column of z coordinates first four signs are positive and the next four signs are negative distance between two points in three dimensional space to find the distance between two points in three dimensional space distance formula is used distance formula the distance d between the two points x1 y1 z1 and x2 y2 z2 is given by the formula d is equal to whole square root of square of x2 minus x1 plus square of y2 minus y1 plus square of z2 minus z1 this formula is similar to the formula used in two dimensional plane except the additional z coordinate and this is all about this video see you soon with the next video thank you for being with me stay happy goodbye